I'm uh, Dean Ho, Professor of Oral Biology and Medicine at the UCLA School of Dentistry, and I co-direct the Jane and Jerry Weintraub Center for Reconstructive Biotechnology. And the work that I do in my lab is we develop nano-diamond particles for cancer drug delivery as well as imaging. The way that I describe uh, SLAS is an organization that hybridizes or merges basic slash fundamental research with translational research and commercialization. And what we're looking at there is there's a big push right now for research to develop a way to realize this work either into the clinic or into a commercial product. And this is an organization that really stresses that. To give you an example, if you look at our scientific program, these sessions feature four outstanding speakers. And two of these speakers typically come from academia and two come from industry. And it's very rare to have an organization that really highlights this interface between basic and translational. And that's a really special part of this organization. The culture of SLAS is very much like a family. I've been involved with the organization for quite some time, and I have no doubt that I've met lifelong friends through this organization, both through the professional staff, the board of directors, as well as the colleagues that I've developed through the scientific program. When I first got involved, they welcomed me, and I had just started my career uh, moving into an assistant professorship at the time with Northwestern University. And being a short course instructor allowed me to better uh, develop my speaking skills, develop a better knowledge of the topics that I was discussing, and really interact with a great uh, community of colleagues. And so with that, I really credit SLAS with having a major part in developing my career from the beginning of my career and as an academic all the way through now. The strongest benefit that I derive from SLAS is being able to interact with a large community of researchers from academia, researchers from industry, senior executives as an example, their expertise spans all the knowledge that's needed to understand the roadmap that it takes for a new technology to make it all the way towards commercialization or implementation. Right now, if you think about the technologies that we're developing, like the nano diamonds for chemotherapy, we started working on that maybe about six years ago, and our aim now is to bring this technology into the clinic to help patients. And with that, we need knowledge from the pharmaceutical sector, from the scalable manufacturing sector, and so on. And an organization like SLAS provides that knowledge base to help us realize the commercialization of the work that we're developing. I continue my work with SLAS for a few reasons. First and foremost, it's the people involved. I, I, I view the, the staff, the team, the board of directors, and the colleagues that I've met through SLAS as family. Uh, they've done so much for me from the very beginning and I'll remember that forever. What I really like about the SLAS program and the annual conference is it's a time for all of us to come together and I view it as like a family reunion. Anytime you can mix uh, cutting edge translational research and consider that as spending time with your family, I think only great things can happen. Uh, in addition to the people, it's the knowledge that I derive from this organization. Every time I come to an SLAS meeting, every time I interact with my fellow board members and with the professional staff, I'm always learning from this organization, both personally and professionally. And I think that's, uh, those are some of the most rewarding components of this organization. And I'll, I'll continue to come to SLAS events for the remainder of my career. Come transform research.